with an FC TV with Chris Agutter following tonight's 2 1 win at home to Avely. Aggie, your thoughts on that one? Uh, um, game of two halves a little bit. I thought first half it was clear that Avely were um, set up in a certain way, tried to frustrate us, hit us on the break. Um, probably would have been quite happy of a point, um, which is a reflection of, of where we were at and perhaps a reflection of where they were at. Um, for the first half, we um, controlled the game really well. Um, got in some really good attacking positions, created some great chances. Obviously, the keepers made a couple of good saves, the penalty. There's two non-penalties in there as well. Um, so I felt that first half was, you know, was, was pretty good. Um, certainly wasn't as exciting as Saturday or some of the pre previous games, but obviously the way Avery set up, it can be quite awkward. Um, and I thought we managed it really well. And in the second half, they've come out. Um, we've obviously spent half time talking about keeping it tight for a period of time. If we get through that sort of 10, 15 minutes, we could probably go on and win the game 2 3. Um, we felt they'd come out at half-time um, on the front foot and be aggressive. And this is exactly what they've done. A couple of missed block tackles in the 18-yard box or a couple of weaker block tackles. Um, lads bulldoze through a couple of challenges, which I'm not overly enthusiastic about, um, to get a shot off. So definitely avoidable. And it just meant the game was, that second half, was um, nowhere near as straightforward as the first. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head. It was very much a game of two halves watching it. That I guess it was just this, them coming up, coming out with a bit more energy in that second half and, and put you under the cosh early, early doors. Yeah, I'd, uh, aggressive front foot. Um, it probably outrun us a little bit, as basic as that sounds. Um, some of our playing through the pitch wasn't as slick as what it was in the first half, so. You turn the ball over, a couple of times, a couple of loose touches, a couple of 50-50s, you lose out on their momentum's towards our goal, they're aggressive, they're on the front foot, they're coming after us a little bit more, it just still sort of um, creates what you saw in the second half. Um, Avery on the front foot looking more likely and us having to weather a bit of a storm really. Um, but, you know, I felt we, I felt when they did equalise, I didn't think at any point they were going to go two. Um, I thought the game went back to more of what it was like in the first half in terms of like we were on the front foot, we were the more dominant side, but perhaps not as controlled as what we were in the first half. There was a few more transition, a few more end to end, but um, I never felt we were going to lose the game. But the worry was similar to the Bath game last Tuesday was that we were going to potentially drop two points, which obviously we can't do. Yeah, and just well, after getting through that difficult moment in the in the second half, and and sort of just as time was running out, Harrison steps up with that to to win the game. What what a moment as well! Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was. Um, I thought the subs were very good. Um, I thought the attitude of the team in general was brilliant um, because obviously we made a couple of changes after the weekend. Um, no doubt, it was a couple of people disappointed. Well, I know there was. Um, but just tried to freshen it up, and I think the, the first half performance sort of justified that. Um, but then Nicky come off injured, we didn't have a like for like swap, so then it meant that we push Beardy on and bring Oli Black on. Does that take away our attacking threat? We wanted a bit more of a forward thinking player out there rather than more of a defensive player, so we put Tommy out there. He'd done a great shift out there at left wing back. Um, yeah, then Temi and Harrison come on and done. Uh, what they done last week, to be honest, caused caused a bit of chaos. We changed shape, went two up top. I like us with two up top. Um, I think uh, defending's a dying art now, isn't it? So if you can if you can put two centre forwards up against um, most centre backs, it tends to cause a little bit of problems. And um, we just felt where they were blocking the centre of the pitch, perhaps we didn't need. Um, as many numbers in the middle of the pitch so put another one into the forward line um, which seemed to work which is great and then um, probably the best one was Glenn Ray coming on at 94 minutes um, to head the ball out of our box like 
Um, it's not ideal. Nobody wants to come on in stoppage time, but he's come on and you know after being central to a recent run of results, um, brilliant on Saturday. Obviously, he was one of the players to come outside to freshen it up, and I thought he'd come on and just epitomise the attitude of the team. Really, like put the team first and get the job done, and uh, on to the next one. Really. You mentioned squad selection. I'm sure you've had a few headaches of, of who to select. You've got selection issues in defence, midfield, and attack. Yeah. How difficult is it? But how how much are you enjoying having such a talented group? Um, yeah, it's it's a, it's a few headaches, um, and sometimes you can have too many options and chop and change, and um, you can lose a little bit of um, consistency maybe because the starting lineup chops and changes but I just feel this run of Saturday Tuesday I think you saw it last week against Bath we looked um, tired um, and, I, and I felt the subs last Tuesday changed the game so we wanted to get ahead of that and make a couple of changes um, to the starting lineup to sort of try and keep that intensity and that energy in the side and I think it worked like, like Kano comes in obviously disappointed from not playing at the weekend and comes into the side again similar to Glenn epitomises the attitude of the group puts the team first, does a job and um, yeah, it's, we're in a good position it, it, in terms of the squad. It's alright all the time, you've got people that um, do put the team first and understand the bigger picture. Um, it's, it's a balancing act. Um, there's, there's probably a few decisions we need to make because there are players that are out of the squad and um, they want to play football so it's one of them, right? It's, it's, uh, it is a balance. And uh, you obviously can't keep all the people happy all the time, but if you keep winning, then that sort of when performances continue to sort of move in a positive direction. You keep doing that, then um, it certainly helps when you're sort of trying to justify decisions to people. Just quickly on Nicky Wheeler, obviously came off injured tonight. Yeah. Just a word on him and how he's doing. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, um, but it was a potential reoccurrence of a previous uh, groin injury um, which is a real shame because I think Nicky has been very 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 good um, but, but you know that, that him and Joel in the wide areas they were the two positions that we would like to freshen up like we freshened up in the middle of the pitch today because that's where a lot of our work is and again in wide areas but we just felt Nicky was playing so well Starks has been out injured with a shoulder injury um, Joel's flying as well you like we could do a freshen up, but Nicky's been doing like great, and he's he's one of our biggest attacking threats. And we felt we'd have a lot of the ball tonight, so um, perhaps <clears throat> perhaps that's the wrong decision if he's come off injured. But he, he's pretty good though. He, he gets ahead of it. I don't. I think it's um, he's felt it rather than anything being seriously sort of wrong and it, it's gone or whatever. Like I don't think he's pulled anything, but I think he's just felt it and he's got ahead of it. So touch wood, he's all right. Thanks, Aggie. Well done. Cheers, Jack. Thank you.